I've said the chants, I've said the prayers, we can click to continue. Do it. <laughs> Noctilus source detected, also known as Blackstone. Request collection immediate. Uh, okay. The cohort the searches the chambers. Oh, go ahead. Oh, the cohort searches the chambers adjoining the obelisk location. They find a few pieces of wreckage made from exotic materials and are gathering them when the obelisk suddenly splits open, bathing its chamber in radiation. It appears there is also something inside the obelisk. 150 blackstone earned! Yay! Uh, so we can go back or we can go forward. Oh, we can pan. And there's enemies in that room. Okay, so I think exclamation points have an event these have enemies and i assume that's the end i think that's yeah i think that's our, our main objective so we have apprentice, apprentice yeah apprentice jeremiah magos minarius and four servitors, four servitors. initiate oh but these are who are these servitors yeah. with limbs? Um, I can't zoom in, so I can't see. But they look like they've got... Or this might just actually be us in general. It just might be a, a generic icon. Let's see if... Oh, okay, no. They have power, like little grabber claws like the suit from Aliens on them. Oh. That's kind of cool. All right. So combat Nothing special in here, and I guess yeah, I guess we're it's fighting time. Maybe we're just gonna position ourselves around these guys. Necrons. Resak did encounter them after all. No wonder he didn't make it off this planet. Every datum we set, we have says that they are as deadly as they are inhuman. The cohort encounters resistance in the form of Xenos constructs, not flesh and blood creatures, but artificial bodies that move with precision and coordination. So we can crusade. The aggressive stance of the tech priests ensures they will not be outmaneuvered, but risks their running headlong into the fire of the enemy. Caution. Exercise extreme caution. Do not charge in too heedlessly, lest the trickery of the alien be our downfall. Or, or consist consistency. Follow the established com combat engagement protocols. It shall be done by the book. Hmm. Uh, well, is there anything unusual about the situation? I mean, it's the first situation. I don't know. Well, then the book is the book for a reason. That's fair. Fight. Combat will be joined according to the long established tenets of the Adeptus Mechanicus for good or ill. Ah. Yeah. Necron. Necron. Xenos form detected. Confirmed. Redditus cogitators now function for synthetic forms. <laughs> Overwhelming excitement. Finally, we can study this standard construct. Necron warrior. Weak spots detected. None equals concerning. I wonder about the symbols emblazoned on their torsos. It must... Do not underestimate! Gauss weaponry, highly volatile! This is true. I've heard our brothers and sisters in the Mechanicus have lost their lives trying to solve the mysteries of these Xenos weapons. Approach with caution. It is also double-checking cogitators. Widely known that they will self-repair, reanimate, or reconstruct themselves if left the time to do so. Wounds that would instantly kill a Skitari are the equivalent to a Class C graze to Necrons. Shit. <laughs> I want to know what a Class A and a Class B graze are. If it's... At the start of every fight, you must decide the location of your unit on the field of battle. You can only place units on the highlighted squares. Click on a square to place a unit. Validate. Apprentice Jeremiah. Uh, 
He has a macro stubber and the server call, skull. <laughs> macro stubber. Macro stubber. Uh. Uh, we will place him. Hold on. Uh, oh, he can collect things from these. All right. We're going to place him uh, here. And then Magos Marniot. We'll place him. He. Oh, he has an axe. Omniscient axe. Yeah. He's he's our smashy boy. I think we'll put him here. I actually want to move Jeremiah then to like right there. Okay. Aren't the orange things the bad guys? They are. Uh, no, these are. I think these are things we can collect. Because see, collect cognition point using. So I think okay. we collect. I have a feeling that those are resources. Gotcha. Red stuff. So, that is. To move a unit, left mouse button click with the blue outline surrounding your unit. Then you can confirm the movement. To decline the movement, simply right click anywhere. Okay. So he can move to any of these places. Oh, yeah. See, cognition. We can collect stuff from these. Gotcha. So I'm going to move him here. So there are defined turns. Yeah. And then... This is your servo skull, the skull of a faithful servant of the Omnissiah, augmented to be a useful companion. Every tech priest has their own servo skull. Gross. Servo skulls are very helpful in combat and cognition point collection. Select an enemy to find out its battle statistics. Okay. Oh, we can either reveal stats or collect stuff. Huh. Do you think we should collect are, are stuff? You or just... using, are you using yeah. your uh, servo skull? Okay. Uh, I would get stats rather than collecting because the other guy can collect stuff better than this one, right? I think they both have a servo skull. Like, I don't think it really... Right. So if I move him there... Okay, yeah, let's get stats. You have revealed the statistics, stats, of this enemy. Knowing your enemy's stats will greatly increase your chances of success. Servo skulls reveal hit points, physical armor, and energy armor statistics. You then decide what weapon types, physical or energy, work best against this target. Okay, so he has energy. Oh, okay, so we can move him there, and then yeah, what? Then I click. Left. You've just moved your tech priest to a sort of cognition point. I'm just going to call them cognition points. They represent the valuable information the tech priests are harvesting. There are several ways to collect cognition. The fastest way is moving your tech priest close to a source of cognition. There are many other ways to collect cognition, so look around to find out what they are. They really should have chosen a different pair of words to turn into an acronym. Sweet Christ. They should have. Oh, sorry, Dad. Uh, <laughs> cognition points are stored at the bottom of the screen in the cognition gauge. Cognition are a shared team resource, so plan ahead. Oh, you. So you've got team mana, essentially. Yeah. Oh, I. St this guy still has. Oh, it's extra oh. actions. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna end his. Oh wait, hold on. I think I can. Sh no, no. Okay. Okay. It. Ca oh, so it takes. Oh, okay, that makes much more sense. You've selected a weapon that is not in range of any target. Look for the weapons icon to appear on your desired target or check the range of the weapon. Okay. <laughs> you have an axe, idiot. So I'm just going to end his turn. Zorch. Ow. Ow. He zorched me. Okay, so how do I? Okay, it's it's a dragon pan. Okay, so he only has a gun, and he doesn't have the range for it. But if I move him to here, he'll collect cognition, right? Yes. 
Okay. And then I think he can No, so can I use you can send the servo oh. skull to that one to collect yep. it? Yep. And then end his turn. New round. You'll be able to call in other members of the cohort as the battle goes on. This will happen at the start of every round. You'll need cognition points to deploy troops. Okay, so there is a reason to collect them. Oh, we can get a servitor beyond, like right in his face. Yeah, cognition has a use beyond just extra actions. Oh, I can get multiple servitors. Yeah. Yeah, because we collected enough cognition points, so yeah, might as well get everyone. There we go. Hail, hail, the gang's all here. In Mechanicus, there are two types of units to control. Heck priests, the two units you've already commanded, or troops, such as the one you've just deployed onto the battlefield. Troops are your servants and cannon fodder. They don't have access to as many weapons and skills as tech priests. However, they are useful and should not be overlooked. So they are the disposable units. Great. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Hi, buddy. Wow. <laughs> How much damage did he do? Mark if I know. You've not revealed the statistics for this specific target. As a result, the amount of damage dealt is unknown. Servo skulls, specialized weapons, and other skills reveal the life of an enemy. Okay. Oh, he'll collect a cognition point whenever he's hit. That's kind of cool. Like, that's just an ability he has. Neat. Okay, so this is what the hey. Okay, so we can move him His there to get a cow. Yeah. Oh, I blocked him. He can't get. So you can't move diagonal. True, and you cannot move through units at all. And turn turn order seems to be absolute. Yep. Oh, it is your turn now. They have not moved, therefore you cannot deal with them moving first. You've gathered enough cognition points to be able to use a cognition-powered weapon. Dangerous. Some weapons, like the Phosphor Serpenta, require cognition to use. Look at the right-hand side of each action to learn the cognition cost of that action. So, he does have a gun. I guess. Yes, it just, he can't fire it without having saved up some points. But he's out of range, so what's it matter? Damn it. So we're just going to end his turn. Smack him. One damage. Awesome. When an enemy moves out of melee range, providing your unit has a melee weapon, the enemy will trigger an opportunity attack. Just oh like a D&D fight all over again. Oh no, yep. it's gonna take forever. An opportunity attack gives your unit a free melee attack on an enemy. Each unit can only perform one opportunity attack per round. It's okay, Pat. No one has uh, combat reflexes. You, uh, oh, four damage. Killing Necrons isn't simple. Necrons are made of a self repairing metal that is able to knit together dismembered limbs and gaping wounds. We call this the reanimation protocol. Good name for it. When a Necron is in their reanimation protocol, they're unable to fight, but will return to fighting conditions soon. Dealing any amount of damage to a Necron in this protocol state will destroy them indefinitely. Oh, that's good. So when you kill them, you have to kill them again. You gotta kill them super dead. You have to kill them while they're dead so that they stay that way. Stay dead. Dead. 
I got, super deaded him. Killing him. Yep. The Necron you just attacked has been teleported away to somewhere far beyond our reach. In practical terms, this means you have killed the target. Oh, good. Because he, uh, he got transported to another dimension. It's like being uh, dead. It's roughly equivalent to being dead. Oh, I can't get him close identical. enough. Oh no. Oh well. Well, and I apparently can't cognition point with servitors because they are slave brains. They are slave brains. Hey, it tried to move away. No threat oh. remaining. Okay, so it, getting them into reanimation protocol is the same as killing them. It just they have a chance of yeah. coming back. If everything's in reanimation, then you can mop up. All Zeno okay. slave forms purged. Good. We won our first fight. With no did. casualty. Your cohort's hit point amounts carries over from each fight within a mission. Keep this in mind when exploring a tomb and look out for opportunities to repair. Oh, good. I figured that was going to be the case. I, I uh, There was very little chance that we were going to get away scot-free with that. I mean, this is... This is Warhammer 40k, not D&D. There are no <laughs> heroes here. It's also XCOM, so they're screwed. Tech priests, they're the regular schmuck tech priests. Hypothesis formulation. Sarcophagi, coffins, burial places. Structural purpose designation, tomb. Thank, thank you. In the chambers ahead are several groups of structures, like upright coffins of an unknown material. Ignite! <laughs> Make sure you destroy any structures that look suspicious. It's worth pausing on your advance to do harm in the Xenos abominations. Intrigue. Ensure you observe your surroundings carefully. Detailed picture, picked grabs and readings may be the key to success. Or ignore them. Do not tarry to observe the works of the alien. Press on and avoid distractions. I kind of want to... I want to do intrigue a little bit. Yeah... I mean, it's going to be bad. This is, We're going to activate something, clearly. But. This, this is totally a trap, but let's do it. We have four cognition, cognition. It'll be fine. They're waking up! The cohort examines the sarcophagi and note that each indeed contains a Necron warform within its heavily armored exterior. They're drawing power from somewhere. We get some extra Blackstone. I'm guessing... Okay. All right, Boop. off we go. So that was just a thing. Yeah. Well, it maybe makes this next fight harder. After exploring the chamber for several minutes, a tile underfoot clicks. The sound of worrying energy builds up around your troops. A quick Omnispec scan reveals you've, you're you surrounded on all sides by Xeno's life forms. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, yeah that's, that's probably, it determines this fight. Kill all enemies. Oh, wow, there's a lot of cognition on that one. So, uh, let's see. Jeremiah can be there. Uh, e with the axe can be there. Servitor one here. Servitor two here. Servitor three here. And Servitor four there. Hot damn. Let's go. Oh, we were able to deploy the servitors because we started the fight with our leftover cognition points yeah. from the last battle. That's cool. Yeah. I like that. Okay, end his turn. You can go here. Is there cover? Uh, not really. <laughs> oh. I mean, I can't delay his turn, so. So, but I want to I want to run up and smack something with the axe. I mean, come on. Oh, they have energy. OK, and his turn. Uh, I have to remember not to block my tech priest. Yeah, you, you can't box yourselves in. Whoa! Three cognition points. Yeah. Hot damn. 
that's probably in case you didn't pick up any in the first one, so you can grab your troops. Oh, cool. He still has movement left. Uh, let's just, I guess, bring him up to here. Cool. Whoa! Holy shit! When servitors are hit in combat, tech priests take an interest. Quickly noting down damage angles, projectile speeds, and other useful combat information to be used later against their enemies. This is represented by gaining cognition points. Servitors are a very useful unit in all your missions. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he took you, damage. You got bodied! <laughs> That's useful data. I'm gonna write that down. I oh, mean, boy. yes. <laughs> <laughs> You go to there, because I want to hit something with my axe. I, I'm, I'm sorry, that's just how it's going to work. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> what? Canoptic scarabs? What the hell are those? We're about to find out. Uh, what the hell are those? I don't know, we'll find out next time. <laughs> I like I'll never die I lose my head In the starry sky Can't change it down I feel